Hello everyone and now welcome to a game between Colorful and Sock taking place here on Last Refuge. Over here on the bottom left hand side of the map we have Colorful spawning as the Teal Night Elf. Opening up with the Altar of Elders, Moonwell most likely will be positioning this one Ancient of War off over here. Meanwhile on the other side of the map we have Sock spawning as the Blue Human. Human versus Night Elf in this 1v1 matchup. Build orders already look very standard, so I'm not expecting any new information really until that two minute mark in the game. Now, what can we expect to see in a match like this? Um, first thing I wanted to say that this game was taken from a tournament, so there is a little bit more on the line that may be the reason why, um, well, just trying riskier strategies doesn't really um, doesn't really pay off or knowing the number of matches in a particular game and where that stands really helps to figure out what the players may try or try not to do altar of kings nearing completion meanwhile let's take a look it is going to be a demon hunter going up against an archmage demon hunter the classic tried and true hero able to shut down enemy enemy hero units fairly easily by removing their mana now, um, other ranged units such as the Archmage generally has a little bit more of an easier time dodging the Demon Hunter once the game gets going as there is more on to the battlefield. The Archmage can then run around allowing time for the footmen and riflemen and other units, uh, spellbreakers, to put some damage and pressure onto that Demon Hunter, allowing the Archmage to perhaps just try and stay in the back a little bit. A now, Night Elf players attack. generally do have or generally do go for more unarmored units, Huntresses and Dry adds all of their casters are very vulnerable to piercing and siege damage hence the reason why workshops and and workshops and riflemen were just so popular for so long i think we're starting to see a situation where where human players are once more um starting to embrace the embrace the changes with those mortar teams knowing that you know what i'm not going to get the old mortar teams with fragmentation shards ever back let me see what i can do with them and still finding that they are um, still pretty useful militia going to finish clearing out this creep camp here as the archmage is going to go ahead go after this creep camp water elemental absorbing a bit of damage you can see that this one particular murloc nightcrawler is purposely uh, attacking multiple different units and by doing so is spreading around all of that poison. Meanwhile, back down to the south here, a solo demon hunter with dual claws of attack plus six. That is gonna be incredibly important to note as the base damage goes from 24 to 36 and the upper damage goes from 46 to 58. Very, very high damage indeed if you do get a random high damage roll. Now the Archmage is already sitting at level two uh, gloves of haste, comments of ogre strength plus three, a little bit more hit points, a little bit more damage with faster attacks, but nothing really to write home about as Sock now looking to do go for that classic, well, fast expansion attempt. Slow was cast onto that militia there. He's trying to join the battle a little bit late, trying to get into the party, but will not be able to even get a swing of his pickaxe at all. He's pretty much going to drop that pickaxe and then start building up an expansion here in just a moment. Now, what are Colorful's options at this stage in the game? Colorful can pick up a Staff of Teleportation um, and then perhaps try and put a little bit of pressure down. No, going to be going for Boots of Speed. And now the Archmage is down across here. He is going to try and, well, protect this expansion and this investment just a little bit. The Archmage down to 116. Demon Hunter going to try to come across in from the far side. Archmage going to try and run all the way to the back. And you saw that Demon Hunter with those Boots of Speed, how quickly he was able to close in on that distance. A Another mana burn quickly comes across and now sock out of mana a little bit well a little bit worse for where as the demon hunter now going to continue to dive on in this is just a horrible spot to be in archers the sheer number of archers here sock perhaps wasn't expecting this many archers and with this many archers and the demon hunter here being able to deal so much damage that can really cause some serious problems archer now low on hit points as we, you see a very big dive back in no additional militia now making their way over and the demon hunter has already done a fair bit of damage the expansion is however up though but 
a lot of footmen were lost in that fight. Tree of Life gonna go ahead and a train uh, or get to tier two here in just a moment. We may see a follow up Breath uh, Breath of Fire Panda come through, as that would be a, a large way to deal massive AOE damage to all of these units, make this expansion pay for itself a little bit more. But it does have the downside for Colorful once Sock does go and try and gets some spell breakers. Let's take a look. It is going to be a panda indeed. Now making its way off to the north. Demon Hunter says, you know what? I can chase back across over here a little bit. The archers really need to head back off to the north. Though Demon Hunter now trying to fight here. Let's take a look. Are we going to get another mana burn? Yes, you are. And Sock has already had 150 mana burned off. Footman now trying to chase after the Demon Hunter. And really, this Demon Hunter is just trying to buy time. He's trying to buy time for um, the Panda and the Archers to really be able to deal a large amount of damage. Let's take a look back across over here. Units are now going to be pulling back away. If these guys are not careful, they're going to find themselves in a tough spot again. As well, Archmage not getting some big damage there. Oh, big breath of fire hitting across multiple units. As you're going to take a look, a couple of Archers could get taken down there. There goes one Archer. Mana burn onto the Archmage again, but the Water Elemental was dropped in time all right low hit point archer needs to back up gets well cleaned up easily there and this mass footman army um well still able to do a lot of damage colorful sitting on the smaller army here 39 supply compared to 27 archer now trying to split back the other way meanwhile demon hunter trying to well perhaps go after the archmage a little bit of stutter and run here continually as the archmage is now down to 216 uh, hit points as the demon hunter kind of try and chase after all those units again we are getting an arcane vault there is a scout tower it is nearing completion panda gonna try and make its way back over sees the scout tower there and gonna go ahead and breath of fire already all right massive repairs getting underway scout tower not yet quite ready gonna go ahead and try and engage still more repairs coming across panda is right here what is going on still just going back to work once more panda needs about 12 more mana but is he gonna get it that is the question meanwhile back here demon hunter still chasing after the archmaid continually demon hunter able to get in some damage as the panda now gonna have a little bit of problem he's gonna take a little bit too much damage from that arcane tower and this expansion looks like it will be all set up. What exactly is all of this gold being spent on? That um, is the real question now as we're taking a look at Footman just diving on into the base here, trying to take down some of these Moonwells. Wisp now going to be able to back off here. Panda going to rejoin in on the party. Once the Panda is, gonna, well, perhaps going to get a little bit of mana, he's going to should be able to get some Breath of Fire off onto some of these units. Dryad's a real big difference here as you're going to see one Footman and at least get taken down all right one footman now taken down you see an ancient of lore being built down to the south as well um dryad could perhaps try and catch up across over here as we are getting a tree of life under a bit of duress all right panda is going to show up to the party big breath of fire right there breath of fire across multiple units can take down a footman here and what right now sock is going to be able to stop this expansion but at what cost that is the question now at what cost is it all going to get lost panda breath of fire trying to finish off multiple units you see two footmen footmen three footmen down i believe there was a cancellation there on that tree of life and it's going to be rebuilt but a scroll of town portal was burned in addition to three footmen and the experience that is normally given all right ancient of war gonna absorb a good amount of damage here panda wants to get to level three will be a little bit of time there archmage is gonna come back rinse and repeat try and put pressure on onto that expansion meanwhile unfortunately for the panda he is now low on mana doesn't have really much to go for but does have scourge bone chime so well at least he'll be able to regenerate a little bit of hit points here naga sea Witch now joins in on the fight the addition of the naga sea Witch making it difficult to retreat Ancient of War most likely will get taken down. That Tree of Life does not look, um, well, that fortunate either. As we're going to see some abolished magic finishing off some units. All right. Footmen down across over here. They're going to try to put pressure onto this. Breath of Fire should come across all of these units here in just a second. There is plenty of mana on that panda there. Meanwhile, Archer, well, needs to head back. There goes a Cold Arrow again as the Dryad may try and pull back again. Demon Hunter should be able to get some big mana burns off onto the Naga Sea Witch or to some of those other units as well. Demon Hunter now trying to pull back away. Naga Sea Witch could yes potion of healing is used in time meanwhile more fighting 
and, and engaging back and forth. There goes a, a Water Elemental, double Abolish Magic. Demon Hunter now gets up to level 3. Level 2 Mana Burn could now be in the cards. As there's a level 2 Mana Burn, Naga Sea Witch and its high mana may actually come back to haunt it. As the Demon Hunter is still chasing and trying to finish off that ground. Alright, 13 hit points and that is all that is left. One more Mana Burn should be enough. Is it going to be able to make it and dive inside? Another Potion of Healing was used in time. Panda, well, finishes off another footman there. Socks in at a 46 supply compared to 39. As the Demon Hunter now looks to back away. Alright, 39 supply compared to 46. Sock does have the larger supply cap. He does have the economic advantage right now. But the army sizes are pretty much about the same. Once this panda gets up to level 3, the overall strength of the armies should be very comparable, considering that the panda will have level 3 or level 2 breath of fire and will just be able to deal a lot more damage. Now, the problem is going to be the eventual transition into spellbreakers. Um, once, well, once spellbreakers are added out onto the field, the panda and its and its level is not going to matter nearly as much. However, Druids of the Claw are now out onto the field. We are at Tree of the Eternity. We are going into Mastery Training as well with multiple, with bears still in production. Tome of Agility, come on. Pick. Thank you. Tome of Agility picked up by the Demon Hunter, now ready to make uh, make its way back out. Low hit point Dryad is there as well. We could see a couple of units perhaps try and get caught in transit. Demon Hunter may be able to finish those off. Are we going to see a mana burn? No mana burn in time. As we see a big breath of fire go down across multiple units. Panda is right there. Rejuvenation. Are we going to see some dispel magic as we are now looking at, well, Militia joining in from the back. Massive slow across multiple units. Are we just going to try and fight our way out? And there's a big breath of fire and wow, what major damage that was as we are going to see a panda or bear get finished off. No staff of preservation. Wand of mana stealing. Stealing a bit of mana. Are we going to see another breath of fire? That is the question now. Rejuvenation onto the demon hunter. Still regenerating a bunch of hit points. Dryad's getting finished off here. No more rejuvenation. That is going to be a big issue. Druid of the Claw also low on mana as well. Unable to get into bear form as this demon hunter down to 151 hit points. Where is it going to really try and go? Panda now coming back the other side. Bear finally finally turns into its proper self. Are we going to see the panda with the breath of fire? Is it going to be able to go across those units? No, it will not. 50 supply compared to 54. Uh, expansion is now up for colorful as well. And with that said, the overall army strengths are very similar. Panda sitting at level 3. Meanwhile, Archmage picking up some Ivory Towers. Naga Sea Witch sitting at level 2. We do not see a transition into any Spellbreakers. Oh, nope, I take it back. Spellbreakers are finally being joined in on the fight. Already won onto the battlefield as the higher hit points and also, the, um, excuse me, the higher hit points and the magic immunity makes a very big difference. Orb of Venom on that Demon Hunter. Plus 17 damage, plus damage over time. Let's take a look at this. Demon Hunter now trying to head back here. Uh, Ancient of Wonders is going to be in a lot of pressure. Archmage now making its way over. Demon Hunter now using a potion of healing. There goes the Ancient of Wonders. Did it pick up anything new? It did not. Panda now trying to make its way over. Militia now getting taken down. Panda, Breath of Fire. No, no Breath of Fire as of yet. Spellbreaker in that front line doing so much damage back towards that Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter now low on hit points. No rejuvenation as there's no Druids of the Claw in Druid form. Archmage, Squirrel of Healing used. Heal up out back all of these units again. Panda now in trouble trying to head back again. Another Spellbreaker could get lost here as all of this medium armor should start to, well, feel the effects of the bears. Bears with very high damage indeed. Meanwhile, Spellbreakers still making their way forward. How are those Spellbreakers still alive? Demon Hunter now trying to come back around. Bear now trying to engage here as Spellbreakers are now and getting taken down once more. A scout Towers, Arcane Towers should get finished off here in just a moment. Militia, Bears, massive repairs underway as the Guard Tower and the Ivory t uh, and the Arcane Tower are now up. Demon Hunter now trying to engage. Naga Sea Witch down to 112 hit points. Breath of Fire goes across multiple units as it's able to pull back away just in time. Bear, low hit point Bear should get taken down here, but there are four Bears here going after all of these medium hit point units, and this is a problem. What is going on here? Archmage does have a Scroll of Town Portal, but still has not yet used it, trying to save uh, save it a little bit longer as the Naga Sea Witch trying to head back again. Demon Hunter going, takes down the Archmage, no real reason for that whatsoever. The Demon Hunter finishes off one of the units. And is the Demon Hunter going to get finished off? Yes, it will. Panda now is out onto the field. What is going on here? It's useless death of Heroes Day. Both the Archmage and the Demon Hunter falls. 
All right, are we going to see a Breath of Fire? Yeah, Breath of Fire across multiple units. Panda lost a lot of mana right there. Spellbreaker is now trying to pull back away once more. Meanwhile, uh, well, Druid of the Claw down to 48 hit points will be backing away as well. The Guard Tower is just far too much, um, dealing too much damage here as they are going to be starting to f put pressure onto that Tree of Life. Back down to the south, Druids of the Claw need to go into, well, start need to start. That Druid of the Claw should really be in Druid form so that it regenerates hit points even further. Colorful not really minimizing and min-maxing all of his mana right here and, and all of the pro um, all, everything that could be happening as this expansion could get taken down. Archmage is in position here as we're going to be looking at bears coming in from the other side. All right, bears able to give one giant bear hug, finishing off um, some easy, easy prey and some units. Panda now comes back out onto the field. Are we going to see a Drunken Haze breath of fire across multiple units? Squirrel of Healing trying to counteract that as well as all the units are now looking to back up again. Still no Staff of Preservation as the, as the Ancient of Wonders was taken down. Panda in a little bit of trouble down to 100 or 479 hit points. Needs to back up and really the lack of Staff of Preservation is the reason why Colorful, if he does lose this game, is, that is going to be the glaring obvious reason why he lost so many bears in, in such an opportunity to get some easy kills and was unable to capitalize on that bear or archmage down to 79 hit points now looking to back away again still no ancient of wonders as this druid of the claw should really be in druid form these guys should really be turning back as well uh, once again naga sea witch slowly picking off uh, Druids of the Claw all game long as you're going to see uh, what Druid of the Claw once again falling. All right, slow plus cold arrows seems to be the seems to be the reason why all of this seems to be unraveling for Colorful. Meanwhile, Druid of the Claw here going to go ahead and uh, perhaps get a rejuvenation on himself. No, he goes in the bear form first, which doesn't make any sense should go we should rejuvenate to himself and then perhaps go in the bear form he has a, a long walk to get back there anyways colorful now making its way back over panda sitting at level four uh Archmage and Naga Sea Witch. No more Scrolls of Healing as the units are now trying to back up. There is an Abolish Magic once again there. Panda trying to get to level 5. Are we going to get a Drunken Haze Breath of Fire? No, just a Breath of Fire going after all of those units. Uh, well, Rejuvenation or Vampiric Aura may, could help those bears, but it's really not doing enough now. Panda now looking to pull back again. Uh, as the Druids of the Claw are just finishing off unit after unit. Dryads are in the back here and fighting in this weird cone zone um, uh, in, in this arc zone here as the Riflemen are able to deal so much damage. Let's take a look back across here. One bear just trying to finish off a, a Rifleman able to do so and now looking to pull back. It's going to get lost as well. Druids of the Claw getting added in. 48 supp 51 supply compared to 73. Demon Hunter now back out onto the field. And now all of a sudden, everyone seems to be afraid of the Demon Hunter, including Sox Archmage. As a quick scroll of Town Portal used there, um, there was a, a Give Me Rifleman sitting right there. It could have been easily taken out. Panda now sitting at level 5 needs to get some mana up. But this game, um, a little bit sloppy. I would say that Colorful... Um, it, it colorful by being able to force uh, Sock to do a scroll of Town Portal right here. Um, unless Sock can gain some major levels on the Naga Sea Witch and the Archmage, um, Colorful is not going to be that too far behind. He's already at 5-5 five, five on his heroes. He is currently mining 60% um, or 30% faster than his opponent since he is no, finally going into low upkeep. So even now, meanwhile, there goes an Ogre Lord. Archmage finishing off some Force Troll Berserker units here. Sorceresses, uh, Riflemen, Spellbreakers all sh shooting uphill, making that, well, that creep camp just a little bit more difficult um, instead of just trying to get up onto the high ground. Scroll of the Beast, perhaps the most li uh, most useless item for an army that already has bears. Let's take a look. Tome of Strength plus two now picked up as well. Are we going to get a Staff of Preservation? No, we are not. Still no Staff of Preservation yet. Perhaps that is what the Panda will be trying to pick up now. Units coming back from every which corner of the map. Riflemen are 1-0 upgraded. Uh, Spellbreakers not upgraded at all. Meanwhile, Dryads and Bears not upgraded at all either. We are 19 minutes into this game. Staff of Preservation finally on the Panda. And the Staff of Preservation, if it was used earlier, would really have set back the Naga Sea Witch and the Archmage's um, apparent levels. Level 5 are now on the Archmage. And pretty much on the money, if you saved two or three bears, which could have been easily done with one staff of preservation, this game would be completely different.
Demon Hunter now looking to pull back here. Let's take a look at this. Cloak of Shadows, uh, Spellbreakers going up against Druid to the Claw. Um, perhaps some Mountain Giants would be helpful. There is a Tome of Agility still being left behind here. Druid of the Claw is right here as well. 69 supply compared to 80. Are we going to see a quick Mana Burn onto the Naga Sea Witch? Yes, 150 mana quickly lost right there. Meanwhile, a quick Abolish Magic to pull that Demon Hunter and get it back into safety. Tree of Life now in a little bit of trouble here. Going to try and engage. Quick Abolish Magic trying to finish off more units. Another mana burn onto the Naga Sea Witch as the Naga Sea Witch takes, um, well, taking a lot of damage. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire. Units are all getting slowed up quite a bit as the Fork Lightning comes across as well. No more mana pretty much there. Scroll of Healing now used. Only two left as another mana burn now goes through. All right, Spellbreaker. Is it going to finish off a bit or spell some of those units? Trying to finish off some of those units here. Archmage now could be in trouble trying to get away. Demon Hunter Potion of uh, Lesser Invulnerability able to force the Archmage to get out of a bad spot here. Now you can just chase, dive, and try to finish off all of those units. 62 supply compared to 74. Demon Hunter now looking to pull back. Um, well, Demon Hunter now running back out across the field here. Expansion is still up. Regenerating hit points slowly but surely. Main bases could be mining out. Yeah, main bases nearly mined out. Same thing with the expansion, though. Oh, this could come as a big shock to Sock. Sock is going to be running out of gold from his gold mine in about a minute. And during that time, well, Colorful will have a good nine minutes worth of mining. So trading of units will be significantly different. All right, Arch, uh, Demon Hunter seeing that level five. Archmage seeing that level five. Both of them took a little bit more. It looks as, it looks as though... It looks as though the spending of all of the gold on Scrolls of Healing is one way to make sure that your gold does not translate into experience for your opponent. All right. Panda is right here, ready to go. Um, let's take a look at this Tome of Agility still on the ground. Come on, Demon Hunter, you're right there. Pick it up. Unless, unless it is there and it just doesn't see it. Oh, Spellbreaker, Spellsteal, Fork Lightning going after some Wisp right there. Mana Burn are going across as we see a big fight coming across. Uh, well, Breath of Fire and we are also looking at Blizzard now being rained down. Source or Priest are trying to get into detonation range, unable to do so, getting stuck in the Blizzard as the Bears are now trying to go down after units. All right, Staff of Preservation could save some units once again. Squirrel of Healing counteracting again as we're taking a look at a low hit point bear. Low hit point bear should get saved, and it's not going to get saved, even though the panda is right there. Panda going after some units now. Archmage could be in trouble trying to head back. What is going on there? There's that 48 hit point bear that is simply not dying. Finally goes down. Drunken Haze, Breath of Fire, trying to finish off some more units. Sorceresses are getting burned to death. Is that sorceress going to get as lucky? No. It is able to stay alive as the panda falls at level 5. Level 5, level 5 right here. Sock versus... Um, Sock um, chasing down with the Archmage and the Naga Sea Witch. 61 supply compared to 53. Expansion is still up, still mining away. No Staff of Preservation usage at all. Only thing worse than not having a Staff of Preservation to save your bears is having one and not using it to save your bears. Spellbreaker is going to go ahead and fall down here. Spellbreaker's bear is now going to get finished off. And as long as Sock doesn't lose too much in this fight, he should be fine. Mana burn onto a Sorceress. A little bit of a battle of attrition. Demon Hunter goes into Metamorphosis. And now all of a sudden, so much damage. Squirrel of Town Portal being used. Now going after some of those units. Let's take a look. Are we going to see, oh, Death of a Peasant. As the Demon Hunter goes into Metamorphosis only to see his prey slip away. Sock most likely knows that his expansion, is, or Sock realizes that his expansion is now up. Uh, he knows that his opponent is doing long distance mining in order to get any sort of gold here. Wisp now trying to make its way over. Are we going to see a detonation? Nope, no detonation. A little bit more experience again. And at this stage, every point of experience matters. No experience will be given off of these particular creeps. Demon Hunter, Metamorphosis, wandering around again. What is he going to buy? Um, Staff of Teleportation. Meanwhile, Panda is getting resurrected the old-fashioned way and still has quite a way to go. Colorful with a 7 supply lead. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter going after all of these units here. Should be able to finish off one or two peasants. There goes... Oh, wait. Uh, just go after... Go after... There goes one. 
There goes another, and peasants are just falling. Meanwhile, bears are trying to hold on to this location here. Are we going to see any sort of repairs? What is going on here? No repairs possible. Wisp being forced to pull back away as that expansion gets taken down. Demon Hunter now going after easy peons or peasants there. One more shot. No, unable to do so as, well, the arcane tower is in position. 51 supply compared to 41. Three spell breakers, one rifleman, and the heroes going up against three bears, a whole bunch of dryads, and the and well and the forest itself should be joining in on this fight. Not quite sure why they aren't uprooting. Um, at least the Ancient of Lore has enough hit points. Going to start attacking back the other way. Where is that Demon Hunter? Demon Hunter just simply walking back down, walking all the way across the map. When you have a staff of teleportation in your hand not the best here as the demon hunter now gonna come in from the side all right gonna go ahead and mana burn archmage now out of mana demon hunter gonna try and back away here this is turning into a little bit of a pincer play there is well blizzard now coming down drunken haze breath of fire mana burn archmage now pretty much out of mana staff of preservation please let me see the animation once no i don't get it and Sock has left the game. Colorful takes the victory with better use of resources and able to come away with the win. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it.